So because I'm my son's mother, mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine bought an Ikea kitchen to put together mm -hmm. and it arrived right in all these boxes and stuff. And I went and opened the main box surreptitiously at the end mm -hmm. and I took out the instructions because I found fake instructions on the internet <laughs> that had like the 3d chair where the leg was missing and then all, all the screw heads were two screw head on each end oh my goodness. and oh no Emily I so I slide it into the box because I know mm -hmm. he's gonna be putting it together the next day mm -hmm. right and you know, you can, I could see him through the window. <laughs> Thinking he's a carpenter. He knew that it was, but it took him a while. And he's like, why would Ikea give me the wrong instructions? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. That's so good. But this is the instructions you're supposed to yeah, follow. Yeah, yeah, you They're know. pretty good. Just because I printed it off and slipped it up my shirt and walked down his house and hid it in there, it doesn't mean that it come with the box. <laughs> I, I am so deeply team order, which is difficult with toddlers, mm. uh, but my biggest <laughs> troll was Serge, we were at the Tartan Tuke and Serge left his unlocked phone and wallet on the table, and I changed his birthday in Facebook, so three weeks later, everybody wished him a happy <laughs> Because it's, and I think I learned this from Andrew, actually. That's yes, it's like, that it is, is an it's just thing. the yep. nicest prank you can pull on someone because the worst thing that happens is people wish them happy birthday. <laughs> it's confusing. And then they're, and then. <laughs> no, it's not. I did not make a single theological statement. Thank you very much. 